Level 2 started with me rescuing Claptrap, which seems like a common occurrence in Borderlands games. I reluctantly went down to see if he was okay, even though I really didn't care. I revived him in the most lethargic way possible. But my efforts were finally rewarded with a character I was happy to see, Lilith, now commander of the Crimson Raiders. Lilith showed up at a really good time, because no sooner did she appear, then Children of the Vault came screaming in. And it was around this time I realized that, oh, I got a shotgun after that last battle. Maybe I should try it out. And hey, I even have grenades. Everything was coming up Moe's, but oh, then I realized I have yet another thing in my arsenal, my action skill. And so I climbed into my giant mech. This was a very good choice for me. I was wondering which character I should pick for a very long time leading up to Borderlands 3, and it was around this time I realized this was the best option for me. I can fire grenades, and I have a minigun. What more could I have really asked for? After getting to try out all of my sweet new gear, we moved at a very jerky pace up the platform I had previously visited, so that Lilith could phase through a door and open it for us. I didn't even know this was a door beforehand, but hey, it's a learning experience for everyone, right? We found the man behind the curtain, an amateur cosplay enthusiast who really liked Nazgul's from Lord of the Rings. Found a cool ad for free brainwashing, and checked the televisions to see if they could tune in any other channels. Unfortunately, no, they apparently have DirecTV. After entering the droughts, I ignored Lilith and went to vault up some crates. I found the vending machines and really didn't want to buy anything, but really needed a better shield than what I currently had. So, okay, I bought a thing. Okay, I bought two things. Okay, I can stop whenever I want. After Lilith welcomed me to the clubhouse, I went back to enjoying my pastime of jumping up a bunch of crates. Something caught my eye when I got back on the ground, though. That unmistakable neon green color that means loot is afoot. But I couldn't figure out how to get behind the wall, and then I realized I had the answer the entire time. More vaulting! The game then interrupted my vaulting fun to show me the zone map. I saw a yellow exclamation point, which is really all the information I truly needed. On my way to said question mark, I saw my Uncle Frank reenacting a Wile E. Coyote cartoon. It's so hard to find good work these days. The side quest I had been moving toward was Marcus, looking to bring capitalism back to the wasteland by making his vending machine work properly again. Apparently the only way to fix this problem was to kill a bunch of skags, which, let's face it, I was going to do anyway. Might as well kill two skags with one shotgun. Soon into my skag massacre, however, I hit level three. Will I finish Marcus's quest, or will I abandon him like Bioware abandoned Anthem? Well, you'll have to wait and find out on the next episode.